Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream. Doing things a little bit different today. Not announced this one on YouTube or anything like that. And no pre-stream song today to speak of because uh, this might be a short stream. I'm waiting on uh, a key a key code for a game basically <laughs> um, that I'm going to spend the evening playing and recording videos for. And since that hasn't arrived yet, my plan was to stream it, but it looks like I mean it might even not get to me. I might have to wait until the morning tomorrow. So. Here I am, potentially talking to practically myself, because I think there's like three people watching at the moment. <laughs> no announcements or anything like that, so it's going to be a quiet stream. Wessel, hello, welcome to chat. And uh, we're going to be working on the spawn chunks, doing a little bit of grass removal. Where should we start? We should start off by sleeping in a bed. And there's going to be tons of spoilers here as well for my next episode of Hermitcraft. So another reason why I've decided to, uh, to just do a quiet little stream. Where's that chap going? I think he's heading towards those villages. Tech guy says, yay, hermit crab. <laughs> Indeed, hermit crab. I got an email once. Hey, Asuma, we want you to join our network. We really love your hermit crab series. And I was like, yep, I'm sure you do love the hermit crab. Oh, good stuff. DOG says, yay, hermit craft stream. Yay, indeed. It's a quiet little stream today. I need to repair this, don't I? Also, that thing has, like, chain on its head. That looks kind of strange. Uh, let's have a look. So, oh, I haven't got any... Oh, I have got some diamonds. <laughs> Thought I'd use them all up. Let's fortune these suckers. Bam, that's enough for a shovel, I hope. Alright then. Hello to everyone in chat. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, welcome welcome to the stream. It's uh, quite a one today. I'll, I'll probably mention that a few times as well. Okay, uh, we need to use the anvil. And he says, sitting here bored at work when this get on. <laughs> Wait, what was... I got a noise in here. Okay, yeah. Wait, that already came through a while ago. And that's the wrong shovel. I just, damn it. <laughs> I tried to read... I thought, I better read chat quickly. And then I messed up repairing a shovel. Brilliant. How typical. Let's try that again then on the anvil. Uh, we've got a noise in me here. It's Pony Butts resubscribing for two months in a row. Thank you so much for your support. Here is a, uh, a sword waggle. Oh, no, that's me opening a chest. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, subscription or the, or the resubscribe, resubscribe hype. Let's, let's keep the silk touch one behind. We don't need that anymore. And these sticks can go in there. And apparently I'm playing in F1. Let's turn that back. Josie says, like your 400k video. What What is like my 400k video? I'm not sure to what you're referring. If ever there is an it in your sentence, viewers, remember that I am a bit derpy and don't remember everything, so I'm not always going to follow. Right, I reckon we should go over to that side, actually, because I've been focusing on these back areas over on the left. Uh, done all of that today, up there, and... I think some of that up there doesn't actually need doing, I'm not sure. Pony Butts says, a chest opening just for me, exciting. There you go, exclusive chest opening for, for resubscribers. If you resubscribe, I will open a chest. Not lying. Ah, game sound is low because today, when doing various things on the computer, I, for some reason it seemed like the sound was extremely inconsistent. I would have... I would have like a YouTube video on it, it'd be extremely quiet, and then something else would be very loud. And uh, it was really annoying because normally I don't have those issues. But there you go. Awesome Banana says awesome song. It's uh, it's an awesome song for an awesome banana. This this one's for you. <laughs> uh, what's this one called, just so you know? It's Welcome to Izuku Club, which is well, actually Izio Club. And oh yeah, spoilers. I should try and not spoil stuff for all of you. Mr. Magma says, so is this going to be a clearing dirt live stream? It is. We're going to remove dirt. That's actually that's not a lot of it. Remove dirt while we wait for this game to arrive. I doubt it's actually going to arrive. Phil says that the volume is just right. Yeah, it should be pretty good for streaming. It was just doing other things like, you know, 
like watching a YouTube video and then the, the song that I had playing was like ten times louder for some reason. I don't know. Just just inconsistencies with the the programs. Oh, I've got this weird taste in my mouth. I just had fruit salad and then I washed my teeth. <laughs> uh, washed my teeth. Who says that? Brushed my teeth. And now I have this strange combination of mint and sugar from natural sugars from the uh, fruit. And it's it's an odd one. It's an odd sensation. Right, where should we start here? I think this corner is cutting away. Uh, not going to go with the not going to go with the hoe technique until we get to areas where there isn't grass. Uh, sorry, grass? No, because that makes a big mistake. Ponybutt says, that way, if you do miss a grass, the mycelium will reduce the amount of grass that can regrow. Uh, mobs can spawn on mycelium. I didn't see your first message by the looks of it. Dragon Hunt says, thank you for another live stream. You are welcome. Uh, that's That sounded strange. You're welcome, my friend. <laughs> you are welcome. I like streaming. Streaming is fun. What is the song called? I didn't understand it when he said it. It's Welcome to Izio Club. It's the second song on the new Izuku album. However that's said. I had a bit of a debate about that yesterday. Is the Iron Farm working? Says Elysian Legion. The Iron Farm never stopped working. Uh, what happened, I'm assuming you watched Impulse's video, is that we had lag issues caused by the red poppies. Um, I think it's where less people have been playing that the nether isn't loaded as frequently and therefore they don't despawn and so now it's become a bit of an issue. That's my theory and it's just a theory. A something theory. A game theory. Oh my god, I can hear his voice. That, that, that map pat fella in my head. And I said a theory. A game theory. It took me a while. It took me a while. Liam says, you should flood the chunks. Not a bad idea, but it depends on the biome. You see, water flows to the lowest points. If I were to place um, a water bucket where we are here, it would simply go down one, down one, and it would find like the quickest path down. It wouldn't spread out. So flooding the chunks would make it difficult. Uh, that being said, some people have suggested building a massive platform across the sky and then filling that up with water. So you build a giant platform, you build a border around it, and then you flood it with water so the source blocks blocks. <laughs> the source blocks go all the way across. And uh, and yeah, and then like you, you remove the dirt or whatever it is you have below. And then you get yourself a nice nice good old uh, good old flooding from top to bottom. And do you know what? Water should change grass into dirt, but there's a little bit of water down the bottom that wasn't changing into dirt, even though it was covered in um, in water and was in the shade. It stayed as grass, so that was a little bit concerning, because you might want to remove the water after, but that method probably wouldn't be the way to do it. Jump boost would be helpful to get around on the mountains, says Ichi. It would. It really would. The one time it would, and I can't be bothered to set up a beacon. I don't mind jumping around too much. But yeah, it definitely would make a difference. Because then you can go up two blocks instead of just the one. Okay, so I'm going to make sure we get all of this sorted on both sides. Phil says, can you please write out the song name for a not native English talker? Uh, make It Rain actually said the song name uh, a moment ago. It's called Welcome to Izio Club, not Azuku Club. I have been wondering if that's a typo, but when the electronic voice says it, it does say Izio Club, so maybe it's not. But that's uh, it's a good record. When I first listened to it, I, I didn't like feel it straight away, and that's an interesting thing about music. Like, if ever you're trying to get into music, don't don't listen to it the once. Listen to it multiple times because uh, you'll ne you'll never get it first go, or maybe you will get it first go, but it'll make more sense the more you're used to it. And this one, I thought oh, I wasn't too keen on this. Then I listened to it like like once more, and I was like, oh no, this is brilliant. <laughs> what, what am I on about? Shut up, X. What are you on about? This isn't any good. Sort it out, mate. <laughs> it was uh, yeah, it's quite surprising actually. I really didn't like feel it, and then all of a sudden it's like ha, and it clicks. I think it's familiarity. Once you become familiar with the melodies and they become a bit more recognisable, you understand them a bit better. This song is groovy. 
Uh, Make It Rain has sent me a message saying that the music thing isn't on my screen. I, I took it off because I've got a playlist of different artists and I thought I'm just going to forget and people are going to moan that it says like Izuku when it's something else that's playing. So yeah, we're doing things differently on today's stream. There's no announcement. You see there's only 125 people watching so you are sort of watching a little bit more of an exclusive stream in some regards. I know some people will feel bad about that but I didn't want to announce it because I'm waiting on another game to arrive, and if I get a message saying it's here, I'm going to go. <laughs> Basically, this, sorry, sorry to put it like that, but I'm going to do the off. Uh, actually, I might stream it, depends on the time. If it's later into the stream, I'll probably um, go, but if it's early on, then I'll just uh, I'll stream that game instead. Let's have a look, actually, because I've got a message. <laughs> and uh, many of us hermits are sitting around waiting. And I'm going to do a little refresh quickly. So every now and then I'll go and refresh my messages and just double check that uh, it's it's here yet. Like this this game that we're waiting on is called the Scrap Mechanic, and I think it's going to be a real contender to uh, rival some of the charm of Minecraft. Right there we go. Back to back to Minecraft. Hey Asuma, how about playing City Skyline, says the Final Sparks. Do you know what? I was thinking of another game to play. I almost fired up a game called Crashlands, but I thought, I haven't even had time to learn the controls, so maybe we shouldn't do that. City Skylines would have been quite a nice thing to live stream, I think. Maybe that would be a way for me to get back into it, because I do want to get into playing that game again. You see, the thing is, I want to play loads of games, really. And I want to make loads of Minecraft videos. And, <laughs> like... There's just endless stuff to do, isn't there? Uh, Joan says, what code is X waiting for? You can ask me, you can you can say, oi X, don't make me ask other people in the chat. <laughs> um, we're waiting for Scrap Mechanic. It, it looks amazing, it looks really, really good. Uh, it's David Real says, play Parkitect, it's really fun. I am not too keen on that game. That game, to me, looks like another one of many that will suffer from the whole early access, you know, play it before it's finished thing because it looks so incomplete that you'll get a feel for the game and then the game will sort of be over for you before it's even finished. I mean it depends on the gamer right, I'm a fussy gamer so once I've got a feel for a game and I've sussed it out it, it can often ruin the game for me, especially strategy games or something that's more challenge based because once you suss out how to beat the AI there's no point playing really. I was playing a game earlier today and uh, I pretty much completed it. I'm going to put a video out on that in a couple of days. The video, uh, sorry, that I tweeted it out earlier actually. Um, some of you may have seen the screenshot. Just just played that for like half an hour and then finally like sussed it out and, and beat the game so to speak. And then it was like, yeah, no need to play this game ever again. Unless they update it of course. <laughs> uh, Mine King NIC says which game controller did you use for Hammerwatch? Mine King? I used... Oi! Come to me. <laughs> uh, it is the Sayatek, so S-A-I-T-E-K P150. Sayatek P150. If you want to look that controller up, it's very comfortable, it's very cheap, and it's, it's kind of like a, an old school rigid plastic sort of second rate controller but the uh, the buttons are nice they're not they're not you know the, the greatest thing ever but they're decent and I like the shape of the controller and I like where the buttons are you know in relation to where the hand is we should stand here for a moment or not because there's a creeper okay let's go and lay down here uh, Jose, Josie Flay I think it's Flay says uh, what mouse do you use? I use the Rokat Isuku is it or is that my keyboard? The Isuku is my keyboard and the mouse is the Kova Plus so they're actually a company that I could have got in touch with I don't, they're not a very big company and you see I don't I don't really like businessy stuff too much I don't like um, you know like you might watch someone and they're like oh you know I've got this you know this new mouse and this company gave it to me so shout outs to them I mean that's that's like whatever that is it's a business transaction and sometimes that's genuine sometimes it's motivated more by, by money and uh, I just I'm just not sure if 
it's for me to do that kind of stuff. But a company like them, I think they this they come off as a a genuine small size company that are interested in making their style of product. And uh, I don't know. I, th I feel like it, maybe I should actually contact them and say, hey, I use your products already. If you know you want to do some giveaways or something, but I'm never sure when it comes to businessy stuff. So anyway, that's why I, uh, what I do thing. <laughs> I don't think that sentence made much sense. Uh, BMJ says show us the tab. There you go, there's the tab. Joker Man says, hey, sending greetings from Belgium. Thank you. And greetings from the UK. And we need another chest. Shouldn't I have a couple of chests extra lying around? I do. We'll take them over to the area with us because that's just going to get filled up with dirt. We can leave them around. Mining Seb says Rocat is German. That makes sense actually because Doc M is the uh, person who has a contact with them. I could make a, a contact through him, so to speak. I really like. I just really like their products, the style of them. They they've fitted together a really nice look with functionality, which, in my experience, when you buy stuff that's about looks for computer gaming, you're usually going to end up with something that looks good but isn't that great. So when I brought their products, it was nice to find, you know, the balance. And uh, very much, very much like the keyboard and mouse that I have. Hey, do you think Roller Coaster Tycoon or Tycoon World or Planet looks better? I think Roller Coaster Tycoon Number Two looks the best, uh, and it's pretty much the same look as the first one. I, I adore that game. That was such a fun game to play when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, really wish that they had stuck with the graphical style because the game in 3D just doesn't quite do it for me. I think the visual style does a lot for it. Phil says, wait for 1.9 and left click the grass with a shovel. Um, that, that'll still have mobs spawning on it, so... Passive mobs spawn on grass paths is what I've been told. Haven't tested it myself, just things that people tweet me. So, uh, don't take it for gospel. Air Justin says, what blocks go well with blue clay? Hmm, good question. I would say lapis, but that seems obvious. Lapis being blue. I'm trying to think of what I've built with blue clay before. I'm not sure. Sometimes I think it's a good idea just to look through the creative menu until you see something that pops out a little bit and then try it. Uh, Dr. Prometheus says, would you play Open Tycoon Transport? I've tried to play that game and didn't get very far of it really. Um, had trouble figuring out how to use the controls, if I remember correctly, which is a common thing I have trouble with. <laughs> Not blaming it on the game. Quartz, says Pony Butts. Yes, quartz would look very nice, I agree. Quartz and blue. Clay. That'd definitely go to work together well. Uh, Oyex, you should do some crash landing. It's awesome, says Joe and Pop. Crash landing? I feel like... I feel like... I know that game, or may have already played it. Crash Landing, it's like, I'm saying it, but there's no image in my head, and I feel like I should know what that is. You can tell me what Crash Landing is then. AF said says, cover the entire area with a ceiling to make the darkness kill the grass. Think good mushroom prank. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. Does the darkness strictly kill the 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 grass though I, I really can't remember well we've got like we've got like a few dark areas thanks to the caves right and maybe this isn't the best example there's still grass there it's an interesting thought I think there has to be more conditions than that yeah how dark is it going to be down there and it's all grass I don't think I don't think that idea checks out quite Ponybutt says it does not. Ha, but I've already forgotten what the it is. Oh my days, are we talking about the grass or something I said a moment ago? See, this is the thing. This is the thing. You guys got to remember that that there's a delay and... Uh... <laughs> X, you should really do some dying. And I'll read the rest of the sentence. Mumbo's at 11,000. I want you to win, even though Mumbo is my favourite. You've made me sad now. Am I not your favourite? 
Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> um, we, I've decided to just call it a day because I had some trouble with my machine initially. If it, I hadn't had trouble with it, I probably would have stuck at it. But then I sort of realised that it was going to be a who can leave their computer on the longest race. And that's, you know, not good for the environment, is it? You know, leaving your computer on around the clock, wasting electricity. And I just thought, we've had our fun with it. It was, it was good fun. And, you know, Mumbo can win, I don't mind. Doesn't seem like a good idea to to do that. <laughs> right, cover everything with water to kill the grass. Uh, Entos, we've done this before. We we sort of we sort of figured that if it would, it would be really difficult to cover it all with water because it flows to the lowest point. Uh, however, if you built like a big old like platform up in the sky and covered that in water, it might might be all right. Might get away with doing that. X, are you English? If so, where are you from? I am English and I'm from England. Can you believe that? I'm actually from England. Right, we don't want these snowballs. They can go away. Panox says, hook your computer up to your bike and use manpower. Oh, I'd love to do that. Like, I don't know. I don't think it would realistically run off of someone cycling. Maybe if they went really fast. I, I got a feeling you can't generate that much electricity um, but it would be cool to have an electronic bike and like supplement power usage a little bit that should be really cool I think I, I, I watched a lot of sciencey stuff and somewhere I heard something where they were talking about how much body uh, sorry how much energy the body like uses or creates like kinetic energy movement energy and like if there were methods to just harvest the energy that we have from like moving around and things that we do in the day, apparently you could like generate tons and tons of energy, but there's there's no like practical way of capturing it all. So it just sort of goes out into the uh, into the world. Because oh, I've got a feeling I'm gonna mess this up, but energy is always I think distributed or what would be the word energy is always like passed on or transferred. It doesn't disappear, it becomes or moves on to something else is the idea. So like if you use electricity to power a monitor some of that energy has then become light and some of it has become heat I think. And <laughs> I uh... yeah I'm just, I'm just sort of vaguely remembering there so don't take it for gospel. Repair your boots, says uh, Mitch UK. Nah, we're alright. 66 is not bad. There's no mobs around here. Should probably clear out this little bit, this little corner now. I think we're due to do this. This leads into a cave by the looks of it. Good old cave full of hostiles. I'll tell you what, another game that looks really cool. The new Terraria game. I want to I wanna play that. I want to play all these games. I think my plan so far for 2017, sorry, <laughs> thinking ahead, 2016 is to really uh, get like the Minecraft stuff just down to Hermitcraft and sciencey videos, and then have more time to play other games. I want to make that work because I've been playing this game for a long time now, long, long time. I still love it, of course, but there's all these other games going on. I'm thinking I want to play these ones too. Electrical Grid says, in its core, a PC is just a fancy heater. It's almost true. Do you know what? My uh, my radiator in my room is awful. I've turned it up like five times today and I get no heat. Um, so it's very finicky. It doesn't, doesn't like really let you know if it wants to give out heat or not. Um, most days, like my, my room is freezing cold in the morning and it slowly gets heated up because my computer's on throughout the day. It's quite funny. Let's use our uh, magical bang skills. Bang! Another one. That was a bang, not a bam. See, look at this. Look how far down this grass goes. Knowing my luck, there'll be some pigs that have wandered off into a cave and they'll stop our farm from working. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. Go down there. X, use sand on top of the grass. I don't know what that suggestion would do, really. <laughs> Bit of a strange one. I, I've just been staring at your name. Dimitri, I think it is. Oyex, play Crashlands, says John Pop. Joe, and you corrected your original uh, suggestion of playing Crash Landing. 
because because uh, Crashlands was the game I was almost going to stream, but then I kind of kind of looked at the controls and thought I'm going to I'm going to struggle with this one. Oh wow, got some ice over here. Fair enough. Why mining grass? Says Young can't a loop because we are getting rid of all the grass in the spawn chunks. So as you know, part of that we're we're here today streaming just removing grass from everywhere. I like doing stuff like this in Minecraft. It's relaxing. Just simple mining in your little Minecraft world. Bam! There we go. Kester eight six eight eight. Thank you for your kind little message there. Hope you enjoy them. Okay, where is the border though? The border's just a little bit further that way, isn't it? So we should probably go up to there and get that ridge sorted out. There might be some baddies around soon though, so gotta be careful for that. Oyex, play Portal 2, says Radioactive Owl. <laughs> and Joe and Pop says I meant Crashlands, and I failed to say Crash Landing. I played uh, another game recently called. Is it Tharsis? Spelt T H? Actually, I think we were up here before and we didn't finish the job. Fastest of a TH. It's sort of similar to FTL. A lot crueler. Um, it's a dice rolling game, though. It's, it's um, really, really tough, is what I found. And after playing it for a while... <laughs> Musia2 says, when is the BAM emote will be released? I, I sent off an email to the person that does the emotes, and I'm awaiting... A reply. If not, I guess I'll probably start looking around. Yikes! For another graphic designer um, to work with on that. But Bam should definitely be one. I'm not sure if it's on my list though, so I'll open my list right now. How about? Oh, where is my list actually? Because I reshuffled all of my documents. It might be in this one, and it's not. So we'll go into my documents folder, and we'll open the one that should have the emotes list. Steam emotes, do we have a BAM on there? We don't. Right, BAM has been added. Just for you. Ponybutt said, I can make a BAM. If you wanna if you wanna have a go at it, we could add we could add one, but um, it might get replaced. You see, what I want to do is hire a graphic designer and get get a, a set of icons that all sort of match each other. If you know what I mean. I like that kind of stuff, that, that sort of uniform everything matches. But feel free to have a go. Um, we need to pop up the top. I hear a, a baby zombie. Where are you going? So yeah, this game Farsis, after I played it for a while, I sort of sussed out. I mean, you can go and look it up if you want to. It's like you're in space, you're trying to go to Mars, and everything's going wrong. And I, I just felt like it was almost great, but the game sort of came down to the luck of the dice. The dice heavily manipulated your luck, and if you were going to beat the day game, you needed a really good luck, like string of, of good dice rolls, as opposed to making good decisions. So, I think the game has potential. I think it's an early access, so they may be looking to tweak and change that sort of stuff. But that's another cool game I played recently. I'm playing quite a few different things, I'm trying to find some cool things to make videos on. Penny Butt says, "Oh my days! I assume you'd want it to match this one." Well, I would. I would get someone to do an entire set, and that one would be replaced is the idea. Like, I would hire someone to redo all the icons and they would all be in a matching set. So, uh, for now it doesn't really matter, but if I find someone I like their style, and I think, yeah, let's do this, then there'll be a, a big matching set of icons for subscribers to use. By the way, if you're a subscriber here on the channel, um, discordapp.com is like a, a chat thing, it's like an alternative to Skype and TeamSpeak. And we have a chat set up on there for Twitch subscribers. If that interests you at all, um, and you sign up for the Discord app, there's a tweet that I tweeted out. You can find it on my Twitter page. And uh, that will give you instructions on how to join our Twitch subscriber chat. It's just a little hangout, like little chat thing. You can say whatever. Sometimes I pop in there and chat for a bit. Depends on what I'm doing. Oh, there's water down there. Aha, we're now listening to a little bit of a rang with uh, Lord Phantom. Love this song, it's so dark yet chilled. It's spooky and I like it. I really do like my music. Got to say, you, you all know that by now though. 
X, please use TNT, says Phil. You know what, TNT would really not be a bad idea. Um, but I kind of feel like it might be a bit of a waste. We could go pick up some TNT and give it a try. I think, why not? Let's do that. So after we've done... Let's see, what are we doing? We need to do in there and a fair bit over here. I think we'll finish this section and we'll do TNT next. Uh, our Iris916 says, Hey X, what is your favourite 1.9 feature? I think I think the Elytra at the moment. But, you know, 1.9 development has been so drawn out that I've forgotten half the stuff, to be fair. I'm, I'm not terribly excited for 1.9. <laughs> oh. Go away, you. You're damaging my diamond boots. We don't want that. We don't want that. Now I've got to climb back up again. I should really find a bed. Yeah, let's go find a bed and sleep. Can you not sleep, X, says Kazza? We're, we're doing that right now. I guess I guess the quality is probably not great for you guys, is it? Hi. Get out of my way. I think that guy just shot him. Oh, mobs. They're going to be really annoying. Am I getting shot on the backside now? I am. Oh, we need to get out of here because they're damaging my boots. My precious boots. Okay, we should be good now. Right, and let's eat and heal up a little bit. I don't have a tea today. Nightbot is reminding me that I don't have a tea. But I do have some water. Zombie Sayer says, I'm good at GFX, so I could make some for you to have a look at. If you want to... Uh, make some to show me what you can do, that's fine. If you've got a portfolio, you could email that to me. I, uh, I'm i just looking for someone who is, uh, let's say, like established or can uh, do a job and make like a whole set of them, because there's going to be quite a few. Um, YOLO says, don't mean to spam the chat. You're not spamming the chat, YOLO. You can ask questions. <laughs> uh, but have you ever heard of the mod pack Space Astronomy? I haven't heard of that mod pack. That sounds interesting. That speaking of like wanting to play more Minecraft, there's a RuneScape mod that looks really cool, but I don't think I could uh, I could play that because I think RuneScape is supposed to be grindy. You need less grindy games. Like, look at the grind we're doing here. This is insane. It's insane right here. Getting rid of all this grass. Next, have you heard of Clash Royale? Not heard of that one? There we go, not bad. I think that's... Oh, did I forget? I forgot. Didn't I bring... I brought a chest with me. I'll put the chest down. Okay. Ponybutt says, not very good at getting my art out there. What I would suggest is, you know, obviously make sure you've got a portfolio, make it nice and easy to access your stuff, put it in one place with a smart web I just threw away my torches like a smart website um, but then you just got to contact people really I noticed that the Vsauce guys don't really do their regular videos too much anymore they made like a few dong ones and then they seem to have quietened down a little bit but they used to make um, these videos where you could sort of tell that people would just email them things that they want to go in the video and they'd probably fish through the best and, and pick them out and that would probably be a good way to get a little bit of exposure is to email someone like Vsauce and you know I do art something you might want to put in one of your videos and you know you just got to look for avenues like that opportunities go for it the Om Omicron says playing RuneScape at the moment it is very grindy <laughs> there you go now we know I'm gonna have to pull up a look so we're now listening to a bit of C418 of the Minecraft music. Let's see if there's anything up in this little bit of the cave. X, why don't you fill all your inventory slots with dirt already? I don't know why. I guess I'm paranoid that I might want to pick up something uh, valuable. You know, like some random diamonds that are lying on the ground right as a creeper blows up next to it. Yeah, let's do that already. There we go, that should work. We've gone through a fair bit of this shovel, by the way. This is the last bit in here, I think. Now that creeper sees us, he wants, to, he wants to kill us by blowing up. <laughs> I 
Was this Sam says I threw away my torches like a useful website? Was I splicing my sentences together? It sounds like I was. Do that a lot. Do that a lot. You know that by now. X, you could do a prank with the dirt. What, like fill someone's basin with dirt? <laughs> that would be a bit cruel. That'd be a bit mean. But we could do something with it. Something might be relevant. Hi. Hi and bye. Right. So there's nothing up there. It's just all of this down here in the darkness now. Uh, Mr. France, uh, Mr. Francesco says, Moderator, could you repropose old questions that X did not chat? I think I missed one of your messages when you're politely asking if you can ask it again. Uh, for example, I hope that the peaceful mob farm will going to be huge and hopefully interest other hermits. What do you think? Uh, I want to make a big passive mob farm, yes. Like, after the amount of time that we've put into the spawn chunks, it would be madness not to go and, uh, and do something big, right? It would be absolute madness. There we go. It looks like it's going to drop... It does... It looks like it drops into a ravine or something. Keep looking down thinking I'm going to fall into something here. It goes down really sharp. There we go, got to concentrate. Woody says, uh, what is the plan for today? Uh, just to remove grass, really, while we... I'm waiting for a code for a different game, so... It's been a bit of a unannounced casual live stream today. Just doing a bit of what I'll probably be doing anyway while I wait, just working on the old small chunks. Right, that's like you know, almost all of it. There you go. And there's a little bit over here. Actually, nothing's going to spread to that, is it? And let's escape this way. There we go. Ponybutts says this is the dumbest thing I've ever doodled. You've got to share it now, Ponybutts. We want to see it. We want to see how dumb it is. Sounds funny. <laughs> Love the music, S. Uh, X says Cass. It is C418. And the song is 185. It's my favourite song off the uh, new record. Right, so now we're going to try some TNT next. As we approach the area with the precious buildings. <laughs> That is actually where we're going next. Now oh, we've done a good job here though. Let's step back and look at our work. So, oh, that being said, there's a little bit over there we need to take care of. So, like, most of this side is now done. All the way over there is done. We're sort of almost, like, 50% through the uh, spawn chunks, actually, which is pretty cool. You missed some, says MJR Legends. I'm not sure if you're trolling or not. I think you're trolling. <laughs> Phil says it's dynamite. It's called TNT. It's dynamite. It's TNT. Something's like that's ACDC. <laughs> Pretty sure that's some ACDC lyrics right there. Left some grass in the cave, X. I'm not sure if you're trolling me or not now. I don't know who to trust. Okay. Quite a few of you are saying nope. There's actually some in there. Okay, we'll go back. Actually, no, we'll go get the TNT and we'll hit it up on the way back because we're going back into the area. It's David Real says, no one is spamming the chat with eat right now, so I'm going to start it off. <laughs> I've just eaten. Should have left it. Oh, well. We'll go back and get the uh, grass in the cave in a bit. Well, we don't want to go back through. Okay, let's uh, head all the way to the base. Apparently False and Cube are also streaming. An awesome banana can't decide. If you've got dual stream, uh, dual screens, watch two of them. But obviously that doesn't work with audio. I'm going to quickly check while we're moving down this tunnel. Check again, do a little refresh. See if we've been given the code. 
I bet it's going to come out when I'm... I'm probably just going to go to bed early and wake up super early tomorrow. Which is also probably not a great idea because I've got to go to London in the evening. Uh, did you ever listen to any Deltron 3030 albums? Musia, yeah, I've, I've listened to Deltron 3030. That's hip-hop, right, isn't it? If I'm remembering correctly. Otherwise, I've just got it confused with something else. Piranha says, are you still doing the death thing against Mumbo? Uh, not really. I've, I've just said enough's enough. <laughs> the awesome Bob says, what are you doing in the overworld? We're, we're coming over here to grab some TNT. Used a lot of this lately, haven't we? Probably going to need another flint and steel. Oh, wasn't there flint in one of these? There it is. Oh, wrong chests. These ones. They're the ones. Cool. There's a backup flint and steel now. Emil Fantas says Mumbo got over 11,000 deaths. Yes, I've seen. Seen how many deaths he's got. Musia says sci fi themed hip hop. Yes, that sounds very familiar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've listened to, to that. Dragon Hunt says, Why are we getting TNT? To blow stuff up, believe it or not. Actually, we're going to build a house with it. And we're going to build it next to some fire. Joven says, hi, I watched all your season 3 vids over the last two weeks, first stream I've seen of yours. So welcome to the stream, Joven. Today's one is a bit of a casual one because I may have to go at some point. So we're just ha hanging out, having a quiet stream, didn't announce it on YouTube or anything. Ouija Ben says, did you play Pokemon when you were younger? Yeah, Pokemon was all the craze when I was in school. And everyone used to trade cards. And then I actually played the card game and thought it was really good. But no one wanted to play the cards, they just wanted to trade them. And I was like, but the game is fun. <laughs> play the game. Why do you have this stupid Never Portal, says Sailor 2. I know, Never Portals are so stupid, aren't they? Trying to take us to the Never. What a silly idea. Go away, Portal. Let's, uh, let's go blow stuff up already. Can we hop up onto that bit? I feel like we should be able to hop up onto that bit. Bam, like that. That's our shortcut. Right, so how are we going to make this effective? Like, I reckon mining in a bit might help. Right, so I probably could have instant mined everything there already by now. That's probably going to be the biggest problem, that you've got instant mine to compete with. <laughs> Eno says, X, your commentary has gotten better, lol. Thank you. I hope it has. X, do you have a tutorial on the farm you're building? I do not. Raging Phoenix, I haven't even sussed out what design we're going to build yet. I just know that we're going to build a passive mob farm. And apparently I have to go out an extra two chunks in all directions around these. I'm not even looking forward to that. <laughs> just not even thinking about that yet. Let's see how it does once we've cleared out the main spawn chunks. Not worry about it. Yeah, this is this is definitely a bit faster than TNT, but I reckon if we do TNT, we've got to chain it and do it across the surface, and then it'll probably be effective. Explosions are more fun, says Savian. They are fun, aren't they? We'll definitely do some. We're going to do this side over here with the shovel, and then we can head back over to the other side. Let's get on those ladders already. Hi, Asuma. Uh, hi, you should build a Asuma shrine in another hermit's base and then make them feel weird. <laughs> that is uh, an interesting idea. Build a shrine for me in their base. That sounds a little bit evasive or invasive. I'm not sure what the right word is there. Bam, go away. Nightfan says TNT looks slow, yeah. Yes, it definitely does. I think if we chain some together, it would be helpful a little bit, I guess. But this is so fast. I guess it's more manual, though, is the thing to point out when comparing the two. There we go, and that's sort of all of that bit done, isn't it? Not fussed about collecting every little bit of dirt. 
Let's head back in this direction. Now we've got to go all the way up there. Mitch UK says, don't forget to repair your boots. Only at 58, we'll be alright for now. Right, let's throw an ender pearl. Let's get up there. Really like the building, X, says Chill Penguin. Thank you. The building is spoilers. But it does look cool, doesn't it? Right, so I don't think we're going to use the uh, TNT here, but maybe a little bit further up. Let's have a look. So what's going on up here? Uh, not really too much of a space here either, is there? I don't think the TNT is going to be that great, but we'll give it a try. Like a bit over there. Eh, it's doing alright, it's doing alright. I hear a skeleton! Off the edge you go. Oh, and another one fell down from up there. Oh my god, we've got to go all the way up there as well, haven't we? Let's fizzle out that bit. It looks like it comes all the way up here. It does. Stop creating a cutoff point. There we go. It's really difficult to see at the moment. <laughs> and I think... Yeah, I think we made like a decent cutoff there, haven't we? Right. Let's blow up another bit. J4500 says you forgot some grass in the cave. Yes, I forgot to go back and sort that out, didn't I? So you guys will have to remind me again as we make our way down that that needs doing. So I will undoubtedly forget again. Undoubtedly. Wiktor says, please prank Mumbo. Do you know what? He's not online. We, we pranked him last... Well, we tried to prank him last stream. Now would have been a better time to have attempted to do that, but um, we're gonna we're gonna stick to this. I'm not ready to do another prank. Also, I have no idea if X being false know they've been pranked. <laughs> no idea. That's probably a bit close to that ladder. And there's a creeper there. You can blow up actually. Go on. Do your thing. Yeah, that wasn't very helpful, was it? <laughs> So much dirt. So much dirt. Right, so we've got another little bit of a cut off here as well, I guess. What are you doing, X? Says uh, Bayfish. We are getting rid of all the filthy grass in the spawn chunks. There we go. Apparently Tango and Impulse have already pranked Mumbo. Can we go over there and see that? Is that a thing to go look at? Let me know, peeps. That sounds kind of funny. Hey, look, it sort of ends over here, so let's get rid of all of this as well. What have we got going on? Yeah, we've got another cutoff point, so now we know what we're clearing. One there. One there. And, yeah, not trying to... I'm not trying to do a world of damage. I'll tell you what it does do, which sort of helps a little bit, is get rid of the snow. The snow's kind of annoying. It takes care of that. Yeah, the t combination with the TNT here is working out pretty good, I think. Uh, so they did it in a stream this morning. Awesome, okay. Uh, Bayfish says, whose music is this? It doesn't say in the corner. We're listening to C418, the latest album. The name of the song is Jimmy Tron. It's the track after my favourite on the record. On top of his base, they made a lava maze. That sounds cool. We'll go check that out. Here we go. Caning for it. Okay, Ponybutts has tweeted me this new emoticon. I'll go check it out in a second. Uh, again, my inventory is full filled up here, isn't it? Getting to the point now where I don't really care. I just want to get rid of it all. 
I wonder what my statistics are on grass and dirt that I've mined. I bet that's gone up. <laughs> no surprise there. You'd put money on that, wouldn't you? Definitely couldn't have gone down. Oh, we are caning through this stuff. Right, that's going to be another little cutoff point there, because I don't want to head down. There we go. Right, let's go check Twitter. And also I'm going to check the other things. See if the code's arrived. Still nothing by the looks of it. Fair enough. Twitter. I have been tweeted at. Oh, it's a proper picture. <laughs> I like this. Meanwhile, in a Sumo Voyage stream, he is running around in just leggings and boots. <laughs> and there's an awesome picture here with little music things. Oh, that's cool. I love that. That's great. I look very young. I've got a young face, young eyes. <laughs> I have hair. I like it. Put a shirt on. Who is that? Who is that pony butt saying put a shirt on? If you want to see that, go to my Twitter and you can you can see what pony butts has uh, drawn for us today. That's awesome. I love it. Musia says a hundred on around seventy k grass. A hundred dollars. Let's go have a look. Uh, what are we looking for here? Blocks, dirt. Oh. Yikes, 86,000. That's not 70k. Looks like you got to pay up $100. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, never make a bet. Never never bet money. There's my advice. Put the money in when you're going to go and make a bet, just put that money in your pocket and you've won. Say so congratulations me. I have won $100 because I didn't bet it on something or other. <laughs> Some good life advice for you right there. Don't throw away your money. <laughs> I love how anyone who does gamble, like, if you argue with them that, oh, you know, you, like, you wasted your money, and it's, they, they always just happen to have won an unbelievable amount of times and are definitely up on their money. It's, for some reason, there's an industry that, you know, takes money from people, but apparently they're immune to that. Because that's, that's the deal, right? Like, statistically, you will lose because... If it, what, that wasn't the statistical probability, there wouldn't be an industry for it, right? Because it wouldn't survive. I'm just saying, it's all in the numbers. I say there's like clunk of stone here. I don't know. Also, Fenoman in chat. Hello, Feno. How's it going? Happy birthday, by the way. I forgot to say that earlier today. Happy birthday, Feno. <laughs> oh, never gets old. Is this like one of those little, yeah, look, it's a little dirt patch that goes inside. TNT would be good for that. Bam, do your thing. I'll tell you what, we're going to we're gonna dump some TNT in here as well. See how that does. Right. All of this is to be destroyed. Oh, by the way, <laughs> if, I, oh, if I go quiet, it's because of the uh, the song. I love these vocals. They're great. Yikes, that is a bit close. I'm about to. You're gonna have to repaint your picture, <laughs> pony butts, because I'm about to lose my leggings for the looks of it. Right, I didn't need to do all of that, but it's done. What artist is this? Sounds awesome, says Fano. It's uh, C418. The song is... Tuski no Kumbi 2. Tuski no Kumbi. Probably butchering that. Say the odds of the butchering being real is very high. 
Okay, so where's this where's this mysterious green grass that we missed out of this area? Where is it? It's right here, isn't it? It's quite a lot of it actually. Bam, there we go, all gone. Right, we're gonna go check out Mumbo's prank next as well. <laughs> Pony Butt says, if you lose your leggings, I will redraw it. Deal. <laughs> They're gone. Uh, Davin Miller says there is no song information. Yeah, I put on a little bit of a playlist. I put a few songs together, so I just I, I figured I'd forget to change it and people would moan. So I'm not going to bother with it. Today's live stream is a casual one, by the way. There should be a disclaimer saying not a normal live stream, just a bit of a quiet, a casual one, because I didn't announce it on YouTube today. Probably could have, but just might be going. So I thought, nah. What's your ti time zone, says Ball Game PC. My time zone is GMT, which is Greenwich Mean Time. Why it's mean, I don't know. I quite like it, to be fair. Let's go chuck some of this dirt away, except we don't have a chest over here. We need another one. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> terrible, terrible joke. There we go. You can hang out in that chest. Right, I'm gonna. <laughs> Pony Butts says that's cheating. How is that cheating? You said if I lose the, the pants, then I'll. Uh, you redraw it, so I lost them. They're gone. Ouija Ben says, would you drive an electric car? See, the thing is, an electric car. Where did that electricity come from? Still, still, it's probably not as bad as using fossil fuels, but that electricity comes from probably burning fossil fuels as it is. Uh, we're going to Mumbo's base, which is up ahead to the left. There it is. Silent Crime says, yo, yo, just got here. What did I miss? Let me give you the haps. Let me give you the lowdown on the happenings, yeah? Uh, we're just having a casual little stream while we wait for a game called Scrap Mechanic to come out, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. So I didn't announce the stream today or anything like that. Oh, apparently they built something up above. I don't see anything up there. He's also taken down these other pranks. I really like that Enderman one. So, where are we going, peeps? Pit37 says, but burning fossil fuels in a power plant is much more efficient. There you go. Still causing pollution. Apparently it's way up there. What, is it like on top of the mob spawner? Asuma, have you ever gone to Greenwich to stand on the Prime Meridian? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. A4 says no, it's gone. Above Mob Farm. It could be that Mumbo's taken it down already. Everything else here is gone. Let's go up there and investigate. Oh. Let's hop up. Oh. Let's try and hop up. There we go. Got it that time, eventually. P.S. I heard you needed some oak saplings. Interesting. Let's press the button. Does this even work? I've got a feeling last time I came here this didn't work. Ow, taking damage. <laughs> and again. Right. Oh, there's a zombie. Ah, you survived the, uh, the the drop because of full damage. It's got uh, things on its boots, doesn't it? Right, that's the mob spawner. So apparently it's up here, but there's nothing here. Have I been trolled? There's quite a few of you saying it's up here. Anyone? In chat, want to let me know? What's going on here? Oh, it's gone already, has it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, then let's drop down. 
Oh, lily pads! Oh, <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. Oh, right as we came into view, I saw it. I managed to dodge last second. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that would have been so much, so fun if we'd have landed on the lily pad there. That would have been better than dodging it. <laughs> Any day. What's that over there, by the way? It's a little sign of what looks like a grave. Rest in Lil Timmy. <laughs> Wasn't that from Doc's Killing Machine or something along those lines? Lil Timmy. Oh, that's crazy. Right, let's let's head back. <laughs> Make it rain says inadvertently played Lily Drop. Yep, yeah, technically just played around a Lily Drop. Survived like a pro. Dragon Hunt says, Asuma prefers death over life in some cases. Interesting. X, what your death count? My death count is at 5,600. I'm no, no longer playing the games, by the way, because I realised it was just going to be a case of who could leave their computer on the longest, which isn't good. Dinosaur says, what was supposed to be up there? A prank, apparently, but it's gone now. Do a prank in Mumbo's viewing station, says A Force. We could, we could do a prank, but I think we'll just go back to working on the spawn chunks. They need doing. Why are we down, th down there? <laughs> X, could you use Profile Two to kill you more efficiently? I have no idea what Profile Two is. Food Panic says, X, you made my day. Awesome. Your day has been made. That is fantastic. Hope you're having a good time watching the, uh, the stream today. Jan Seegers says, I didn't get a Twitch notification. Interesting. Because I didn't notify on uh, on YouTube. But Twitch messing up as well. That's not good, is it? Scott Florence says, I'm shocked it's already gone. They finished it only 11 hours ago. Uh, well, I guess Mumbo probably recorded and then removed it straight away. To be fair, I don't feel like clearing out too much more grass. I feel like I want to do something else, but I can't. We could work on this building a little bit over the side here, but the reason I'm, I haven't been working on it is because I got stuck. <laughs> Didn't know what, quite what to do. Elastimo says, oh god, I'm crying. I almost finished Undertale and I didn't want to finish it. Interesting. Maybe it's an emotional climax to the game. Uh, I found a game today that's free to play called Underbane, and I'm pretty sure it had the same look, style as Undertale. I think Undertale might have been developed from that game. Saw some of the uh, knowledgeables will be able to tell us if that's correct or not. So I've been looking at a lot of free to play indie games, just trying to find cool little things. Right, yeah, that's a good cutoff point right there. That'll do just fine. Take away all of this. I think I want to use some TNT again. It's a bit slow. It feels slow. It's because of all this uh, snow getting in the way. Go back over here. It's a blowout. What is that it shovel enchanted with, says Minamon. It is efficiency four unbreaking free. Nothing too special, just uh you can make it efficiency five, but that would kind of be pointless, I think. There we go. Right, is there anything under that snow? There is, look, there's dirt down here. That's our cutoff point on that side. Right, I'm very nearly done. Right, they might be the last three blocks. Yep. Yep, nothing around here. Cool, so we did a lot. <laughs> Scott Florence says, a good working class shovel. I like it. A working class shovel. 
There we go, so all of that's been done. Not bad, could probably do a few bits more over there, but for now I'd say that's good. Good amount of progress for today. Don't know if we're really going to see an impact on passive mob spawning yet, but who knows. Elysian says, I think efficiency 5 would just vaporise the dirt. It can't go any faster than it's going now because it's instant. Um, so efficiency 5 wouldn't make any difference. There might be like some weird quirky technical difference, but I don't think there's any block breaking speed difference. Um, yeah, so you've seen the spoilers with this building. So no surprise there. I've been trying to build an arc or some way to connect Doc's building and give it an enclosed area that links up with this and I just can't do it. I've got this arc here. If I move around you'll see it better. We're now listening to Lord Leviticus by the way. And I kind of like the idea of that going into the building but I don't think it would really match up or line up with anything particularly well. So there's the other part of the arc. How many shovels have you used for this project, says Finny Rock, or Finny Frock, possibly. Uh, not a lot, really. I've just been repairing the same old ones, I think, so... I don't know, I haven't been really keeping count. Air Justin says, you don't have any pants on. That's right, just, just boots, shoes, and diamond ones. Let's have a kip. So any ideas? I do not really have any ideas, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Jacko Dragon says you could have slapped it all out the ravine. Could have done that. Yogi King says how long how close are you to done? About halfway there, I reckon, at the moment. Uh, the real quirk is that KQLY says, uh, for how long have you been on Hermitcraft? For three years? I don't know, April 2012, I think it started? Yeah, coming up to four years. Crazy. Crazy number. Oh, it looks like we don't have many, uh, Suggestions for this. Ellis Fimo says Underbane is an Undertale fan game. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Finny Frock says it's pronounced Finny Frock. Excellent. I really don't know what to do for this. So, if we were to ditch the whole arc thing, we could sort of bolt on something to the side of this iron. Oh my god. <laughs> something onto the side of this iron here that would go in a straight line and it'd sort of avoid everything um, so if we did the same thing on the other side this is where it goes wrong you see because it would run into all of this redstone and other stuff which I don't want to rewire or mess around with although we could potentially leave parts of it there I don't know how to make it work all diamond blocks for the arc says Thomas brilliant <laughs> MJR Legend says, why not just remove the machine because it passed the event now? Well, it's still there if someone wants to use it. It's Doc's machine as well. I don't want to take someone else's build down. Um, I think it'd be nicer to make it part of what we've got going on here. That alone, though, is just going to be a bit tough. Maybe if we were to bring the iron out by one block so it went along here, it wouldn't mess up any of the redstone, would it? But then you'd have a big flat wall on this side, which would probably look kind of ugly. <laughs> Some of you, LC, LC fan or LC, uh, LCF pan says knock it down. Yeah, some people want it to be taken down. I'm not going to do that. Right, we're not going to destroy it. What we'll do is grab some building blocks. I should have some andesite in here, but my andesite's gone. <laughs> That's not good. Why can we mine some up quickly? Actually, no, I'm going to go take a trip and get some andesite. What's the slime block contraption, says A-Force? It's, uh, it's a killing machine that you can use to kill yourself with arrows. It's weird. <laughs> so 
So we're not going to destroy it. We're going to try and make this work. In case it like you did your villager breeder, says Savian. Uh, the villager breeder iron case looked pretty ugly. Phil says you could build a big sphere shape or dome over it. That's not a bad idea, actually. It might be easier to connect it together with grass. Sorry, glass. Yeah, actually, I, th I like the sound of that. Let's try and investigate that. I need to get some red wool as well. There should be an easier way to get quartzes there, Justin. I agree. I agree. Uh, Vigan Storm says, can you do the last floor in your base? I, I've been a bit uh, burned out on the base lately. I'm just working on the spawn chunks a bit at the moment. We'll get back to it soon. TBN ready. Welcome back, buddy. Long time no see. Right, the andesite that we want, I think we're out of... Oh no, we've got some there. So we'll take some of that. We'll take a bunch of that. But I really think now we probably just want grass. I said it again. I can never say the right thing. Whenever it's grass, they say glass. Whenever it's glass, they say grass. It's really irritating. <laughs> It really is. It's it's like come on already. I know this. I know this now, yeah? Right, we're gonna take some red wool. And I think we're gonna be good on everything else. Although we'll take some grey wool as well. Right, so the other thing we need is sand and we need it smelted. There's there's like glass there's there's furnaces over there. Uh the best Nick, I've got your message that we can play Minecraft Realms for a month. I have seen your message. Right, let's head back over. Uh, Jekko Odd Dragon says you can craft andesite with stone and dorite. I completely forgot that. Yeah, you can, can't you? I've completely forgotten about that. Blue Man says, hey, X, me again, Blue Man. Hi, Blue Man, welcome to the stream. Alright, let's go this way this time. Bam. Sometimes I go the other way. I don't know why. Assume Void, one, two, three. Fancy seeing you here. What were the odds of that, eh? Welcome to stream, by the way. Maybe you could use another word for glass or grass. Yeah. Grass. We could call it <laughs> shrubbery. Um, we could call it green stuff. Or glass could be... Oh, a see-through block. <laughs> that sounds intelligent. Let's build with the see-through block. No, we're not going to do that. Jekko Dragon says, Call me Jekko, you name butcher. Oh, just call me Jekko. Jekko Dragon. No, Jekko D Dragon. Damn it, I can never get it right. The True Toast. Hi, welcome. You're new here, that's good. Are you uh, new to just Twitch or, or, or to the... Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> are you new to Twitch or are you from the channel? There you go. Figured it out. X called glass burned sand. I love that. Let's get our burned sand going on over here. Let's burn some sand, bros. Right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna chuck a few things back in here. There's our furnaces. Oh, I didn't actually grab any sand. What? <laughs> I I recall going over to the chest of the sand. Ah, I give up. I think I'm too old. I think I'm. I think I'm like going loopy. I've been playing this game for so long. Right. We actually did go over to the chest <laughs> with the sand in. I, I can't believe it. I can he believe it? I didn't get any dye for the glass either, which was very smart. Grass can be dirt hair. <laughs> That's brilliant. Asilian. Uh, oh, Asilian Legion. Elysian Legion. I can never say these names right. I'm like a broken record. Okay, so if we were to build like a bit of a curve or a dome roof coming from this side, uh, and we bring it down with a straight wall over here, we could have it connect with the land, which would look pretty good. How it would join up to this bit here, I'm not really sure, but we could probably make it work. Let's say, let's say it did just like, actually no, 
Let's say it rubs up against the side of it rather than like that. So that would be a, a thing going across. Then if we had a little diagonal, it could go like that. Right. Oh. Oh. Putting these in all the wrong places. Just call me Ellie, says Elysian. <laughs> Elysian Legion. I don't know. I, call you, I have to call you Ellie then. Right. So all of this here gets filled in at this level. And we could put in a window down the bottom, maybe. Let's not worry about that too much. Then we'd have a big old curve from the front going over to the back. Let's go up here and... Uh... Oh, what did I just do? I think I just activated it. X, do you know that the end rod is a new light source? Yes, I do know that. I like it. Ooh. <laughs> Almost messed that up. I didn't really need to go up there, did I? Oh well. So all of this will come up to here. Um, that bit would come all the way up. The best Nick says, I am playing Minecraft by myself and just saw a villager die from standing on a cactus. Smart move, villager, smart move. Darwinism right there. <laughs> that villager's not going to breed. Oh. Right, I reckon this has got some potential, actually. It might look a little bit ugly from some places, but we can make it look a little bit better later on. Right, and we I reckon we'll leave a gap there. So what I reckon we should do here is bring it up to that height and put some slabs on top. X, if you want, you can call me my real name and it sounds British, so I want you to say Edmund. That is uh, a British name, I do believe. Edmund. If I don't remember that, though, don't be mad. I am terrible with my memory. Fefo the King says, does he see this chat? Asuma does not see the chat. The chat is hidden from his sight. Let's uh, remove that. Also, this isn't a live stream, by the way. This is a pre-recording. Is that me? Did I put that there? I think I did. That's where I was doing... Yeah, look. Separated off some of the grass from this bit here. Interesting. Right, so that doesn't look terribly great at the moment. Also, somewhere up there I need to place a couple of blocks that I brought with me. A couple of blocks of wall. Might be able to jump and place them. TBN Ready says, I love the way you say my name. Edmunds, there you go. Uh, let's put a block there. Can we reach it now? We can. Right, so we filled in that bit. Ooh. <laughs> Actually, we can hop onto that now. So we're going to build an arc going from down there up to here, up to this level. I think the best place to build it is on that side. So let's get this thing marked out going over to this side. The True Toast says, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. How are you doing? Right, and we'll come out by two blocks to where that one is down there. So, leave a faith. Could almost come straight the way over, couldn't we? Yeah, let's bring it right the way over, and it'll just it'll just go down with the landscape then. Right, so now it's all about the angle of the curve. Actually, is it? Where's the height of this at? It's in line with the orange of the glass, which means we can fill all of that around it, which is good. So we need to keep it level for a certain amount of blocks. And then after that, the curve can start. So I think what we'll do is we'll do 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 for our curve. 1, 2, and 3. Then we're going to need some dirt here, aren't we? Right, 3, and then 2. Bam! 1, 2, then you got your 1, 2, 3. And then it goes down to the ground. 
No! No! Not today. Right. And then that's where it would go down to the ground. What y'all peeps reckon of that? Not the biggest of curves, but I reckon it'll do. Now where... Actually, where did... Oh, does it... Oh, no. It almost matches up with this perfectly. Or maybe it's a good thing that it's there. And I'm in a hole. <laughs> Smonoman, welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome back. A true toast says, I just heard lightning in my Minecraft, and then my pig was a zombie pigman farm. Yes. They can be turned into zombie pigmen, that is true. Right, I reckon we're going in the right direction a little bit here. Blocking the stars says, hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back, buddy. We need some more iron. Where are we going to get more iron blocks from, eh? I don't know. I have no idea. Photon Burst says, hey, Blocky. Ah, saying hello to, to good old Blocking the Stars. A block in the Stars, what is your other name that I know you by? It's not coming to me right now. Right, that's probably more than enough iron. In fact, I know that's more than enough. We'll put that bit back. Let's have a sip of this drink as well. Ah. False raid. Someone says, "Asumi, your server said you went live a few minutes. It's an ago, not an hour." What? We've been streaming for an hour and twenty-two minutes. Will you build a new staircase, Monomon? I plan on doing something up there, like building a big area that goes into the dome. True Toast says, just call me Toast. Okay, Toast. I'll try to do that. Another thing to consider is that this dirt might not need to stay. Anyway, something like that. It's going to be the wall. We won't keep it all like that. Sections of it will be like uh, glass and such. I think what we'll do is we'll have glass windows at the bottom. And then orange will be the bit around the middle or something. Go on. Oh, it's such a pain sometimes to build. Just wish you could fly. Okay, so now let's do some counting and stuff. This bit here will probably go by the way. Hi, Suma. Just started watching your YouTube channel and this is my first time seeing your stream. Good work on both. Really enjoy it. Thank you, Ophidian Delight. Thank you very much. I hope you're having a good time watching today's stream. Let's see what the distance is here. We've got one there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So if we put one here, that actually dictates a middle to us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's the middle. <laughs> and it's where the ladder is. Of course it is. Why would it be anywhere else? Has to be somewhere awkward. But we'll make that work for us. So that's three. Then we need two and uh, remove the block underneath. And then one. And then we need two. Right, and now we're at that bit. And then the next one is the three. So one, two like that we can make it work for us okay and then the next part of the beam I mean it would be central again wouldn't it so let's put let's put these iron blocks in each corner in fact we'll put that there as well just fill in the gap and on this side it can come back to one like that that's our big old frame around this beast of a machine I think it's going to work out. X, did you have some tea today? Edmund, I did. I had uh, some English breakfast. Right, now how's this going to look when we build it on this side is the next question. All of this needs to come down as well, by the way. 
Coco Golem says, I find Minecraft to be a very sensual game. Depends what you mean by sensual. Really? Uh, wait, did I go up by one? Is that correct? Two, one, and then two here. Right, and now we'll go and get rid of all of this. What headset are you using? It's a Logitech G330. Now uh, out of print, unfortunately. Or production, or however you want to put it. Actually, can we make use of that? No, no, no. Then it's free, and then it goes up by one again. Right, now this goes all the way across to this side. Bam, there we go. And that's its sort of cage. Get rid of the floating dirt as well. Once the Munch says, I like YouTube. Thank you. Glad you like it. Are you still wearing Mumbo's head, says my 5605? No. You can see there it's gone. The Dark Side Demon says, what are you building? We're building a frame for Doc's little thing over here that attaches to the side of the building. I don't think it attaches itself very well, but it will work. Let's uh, let's go up top. I think I know what I'm going to build next. I think we need an Ender Pearl. Uh, but where to Ender Pearl 2? Actually, that will probably do it. Oh, that doesn't look good enough. It's not. It's terrible. Rubbish. Get out of here. Oi. No. No. Let's try again. There we go. Safely made it to the top. A lot of you in chat are saying do boring voice. I'm not going to do it. I don't do it by request. I don't like to be pressured into doing it. There we go. Bam, bam. Right, so we're going to fill in at this level here, and we've got to start off with slabs going across. Now these might be an absolute pain to put on, because yep, it's going to do that. Why would it not do that? Why would it even think of doing anything different? Ah, there we go. That is such an annoying bug in this game. Fix your game, Jeb. <laughs> what are you doing, says Awesome Viking? We're, we're building. Doing some building. What's boring voice, says Kaza. That's the old way that I used to speak. And people love to hear me do it from time to time. But today is not that time. Oh, I don't have any iron bars. I've got to come back and do that again, I guess. So we're just filling in this middle section since it's, uh, it's not going to be anything special now. think. I doubt I changed my mind. Right, and then on top of here go slabs. Have they fixed slabs in 1.9, says uh, Fabon Isimo? Fabon Isimo? Probably butchering that. I don't think so. I just got a message on Skype. Is that scrap mechanic? No. <laughs> no scrap mechanic yet. I th I'm thinking I'm just going to go to sleep <laughs> and get up early. Because there's nothing else for me to do if I don't uh, have that to do this evening. X, how did you get the void at the end of your name, says Edmund. I was listening to uh, a band called Void Through Materialism and Asuma was taken, so I went Asuma Void. Did I do that right? Oh, there's the strip of wall. Oh, I knew I brought that wall for a reason. <laughs> Happened to be very useful. Cool, and now we need clay. Oh, I've got clay as well! Nice! Sweet. Uh, that goes back a block, though. That goes over here. Panda says, Hi, I'm new to Asuma Streams. Welcome, Panda. Welcome to the stream. Blue... Moon says, when is the next stream? It should be it should be uh, Sunday morning, but I might do it Sunday evening because I've got a feeling I'll be exhausted in the morning. Which will probably mean I'll be exhausted in the evening as well. <laughs> That's how it goes, isn't it? Uh, we should probably put slabs on all of this, I just realised. So, let's do that as well. 
this isn't a bad start actually. I think we can make this work. What time is it where you live? Asked Toast. It is almost 8 o'clock. Almost. Is that all the slabs I've got? Am I going to run out? Oh dear, run out. Iron bars and slabs are what we need next. And I think... Oh, that's ugh, falling down. I think this is actually going to work okay. X, can you stream Sunday evening? Because I'm busy Sunday morning. Well, I tell people that I stream in the morning on weekends, so I'm going to try and stick to that if I can. I don't want to let anyone down. Right, we're not going to put any glass in now. Maybe a little bit at the front. Uh, what did I say? Slabs and iron bars? Make some iron bars. Got enough for half a stack. <laughs> Food Panic says, have you ever milked a cow? Do you know what? I might have done as a kid. They might have might have gone to a farm and they're like, oh, milk the cow or something. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> don't, don't recall milking a cow. Bit of a strange question. Hi X, are you going to do a giveaway? Jackson, no giveaways planned for today's stream, my friend. Right, now... Yeah, that's supposed to be there. That's not something we're messing with. I didn't craft the slabs. <laughs> Terrible. Useless. Get out of here, you're rubbish. Boo. Boo. Remember things already. <laughs> oh, I'm getting annoyed with my own lack of memory. What were we just talking about? I'm joking. <laughs> do you still do myth busting, says uh, Ren Renato2050. Yeah. Um, just on a bit of a break at the moment. Like January, not really focusing on Minecrafty stuff too much. I've started planning the next one, and the next. Did you know Minecraft as well? But get out of here. Um, yeah, just January, taking it a bit easy. See, January is the quietest month on YouTube, so been doing lots of bits, bits and bobs, other things here and there around the channel. Maxwell says, "Hi, Asuma, how's your day? It's uh, been pretty good. Thanks for asking." How's your day been? Can we hop? Oh, we can't, like, yeah, we can remove that and hop back up. There we go. And there we go. Right, that's all been slabbed, except for that bit, so let's do it all again. <laughs> there you go, X. That zombie gave you some clothes. He did! Well spotted! Oh, look, oh, look at these enchantments, like a pro. I look fancy now, don't I? Look at that. Lovely. Let's hop around the side again. Alright. Let's shoot you. <laughs> Taking a load of damage already. Okay, um, uh, the other thing I was supposed to do is iron bars, and I just brought them with me, and now I'm down here on the outside. Come on, brain. Come on. The real Minecraft CH1 says, hello, X, hello, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Zlion says, Hi X, nice to hear see you building in live. Been following you for one and a half year, uh, no, for half a year and watched season two and three so far. Awesome. I hear season one's good. <laughs> I'm joking, it's rubbish. No, I, I am joking, it's alright. <laughs> season one is, uh, is season one. Oh, no, you don't want to go there. There we go. Right, so... We haven't filled in this big panel, we could fill in it partially, but that doesn't look so bad so far. What we're going to do with the wall on this side, I don't know. 
I think we're going to have some windows at the front and possibly on the back as well and then lots of glass in that area basically so we made a decent start there uh, false raid someone says Asuma what is the Hermitcraft website address I do believe it is a Sumo Void sorry uh, Hermitcraft.com there's also a Sumo Void.com uh, Mr. Tech YT says can you do some more T pranks we're not going to do any more T pranks we decided that that like it didn't really work out so <laughs> there's going to be no more of that uh, Jekko the Dragon says I like the red strip on the cage it's a sort of tribute to Sango yeah it is like these this is his color scheme this is the one he picked with the uh, Titan as well so yeah definitely goes well doesn't it anyway peeps that's going to be it for me today short stream I know unannounced one just uh, a little quiet stream and uh, yeah did some bits and bobs waiting for this game but it isn't here yet I think probably going to go to sleep and get up extra early to start playing it. Anyway, um, we're going to raid Cube Hamster. I heard that Cube Hamster was live, so we'll give him a little raid. Go watch the man building his, uh, his slime mech robots and TNT missiles. <laughs> Let's do it. Anyway, peeps, thank you so much for coming along and checking it out. And hope you had a good stream, a good time hanging out with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.